Okay, uh, just going to do a real quick video. Um, this is going to be on the Daikon pedal board. Um, comes in a whole bunch of different ranges that are available on eBay. Um, they're Chinese made. They're reasonably cheap. This one that we're looking at today was uh, $96 US. Um, so this is kind of an unboxing, but I've already taken it out of the box. Here's the box. So this is the model we are looking at today. Effective case. Funny. Yeah, made in China. Um, Daikon Audio. Sent from Japan. It got here super quick. So I live in New Zealand and it took like I think like four or five days to get here. It's ridiculous. Um, there's a bunch of stuff from Japan. And plastic bag. And another random piece of cardboard. Anyway, here it is. This is what it looks like. Um, so this one is 53 centimeters by 31.5. Um, that is a handle and a handle and some latches. So it is uh, very made in China, uh, which you will see. The latches aren't even straight. Uh, so I've got this upside down right now. So that's just the lid. The lid comes off. Um, so this is the pedal board, this is the surface that you get to stick your pedals to, um, Velcro does stick to it, it's not very thick, it's very very thin, it's not even glued down properly, see all these wavy bits, um, yeah, so made in China, expect it, made in China, um, I have had worse made in China, um, to be honest, so this this is at least like a, a wood. Um, I have seen some of these cheap Chinese ones where this is just like this real thin piece of plastic and lasts like two minutes. Because um, obviously you want stomp boxes, so you want stuff you can stomp on, right? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I can stomp on this or not, but um, what I'm actually going to do, um, because I really don't like that, surface it's just cheap and nasty and messy i'm just i'm going to custom build up a bit board to burn here so this will become just a case um, but you could use that um, to stick your pedals to um, but that's not what i'm going to do so i'll do another video on actually custom fitting this out with a proper pedal board um, and um, just the way this attaches so you get latches at the front and then at the back you've got like these hook over hinge things. Um, these ones again are better than some of the cheap ones I've seen. Some of the cheap ones I've seen you've got to like go like right over before they'll unhook, which is a real pain in the neck. Um, these ones will unhook from fairly vertical. There's a bit of padding and stuff in the top there. Again, it's all pretty thin. Um, so that's something that I will probably add to a little bit as well. Because who knows that pedals are very expensive. Um, so yeah, that's it, especially if you're traveling a lot. Like if you're in and out all the time. If you're moving around, if you're chucking your gear into trucks and traveling, spend a bit more because um, that, that chucking in a, in a truck isn't going to last two minutes. Just to give you an idea of some sizes, so this is the TC Electronic um, Sky Surfer Reverb, so that's kind of a little bit larger for just a single stomp box. Um, and this is a little bit smaller, that is the MXR modified custom badass.
overdrive. Cool. Uh, actually, when I say that's a bit bigger, it's, a, it's bigger than this. Um, actually, that's probably around about the boss pedal size. That's, that'll be more accurate for you to touch it, right? So you could go one, two, three, four, five. You can put 10 of them on there. Okay, uh, here's one I prepared earlier. This is uh, this is the wooden pedal board that I have made to fit into this case now. Um, so I've just custom made that to fit in there. Um, I've still got to put my Velcro on. That's my last step. Um, I will have a video very soon on the process of making this as well, if that's what you want to do. Um, so now I've taken that sort of cheap pedal board that looked kind of average and I've covered up all the average bit with a proper solid strong pedal board. Cool. And that's it.